Greetings friends. One of my sources is a benevolent alien. His name is Mythisic Fifix. These messages, are derived from face-to-face -face meetings. Not from channeling of any kind. Message number 21. Subject. The myth of cholesterol and other health concerns. Myth is a fix. The food on your planet for many decades now is compromised by chemicals and preservatives. Very harmful for your health, but healthy for the cash of food industries. If the food offered to you would be healthy, you could eat carbohydrates, proteins, sugars and fats, as one to. Of course moderation would be buoyed, by your own anatomical shape, which generates comfort for each individual. The humanoid body is extremely versatile, taking only what it needs, and dispense food that is excessive. The biggest problem in your current eating habits, is the cumulative effects of certain substances. Try to consume fresh fruits and vegetables, proteins from known sources, and animal fats, instead of hydrogenated vegetable fats. You can imagine, that I should not talk about animal consumption. But for the current physical context of the planet inhabitants, the consumption of animal protein is necessary. For the balance of biological type, created by your current DNA. All of us humanoids, we need certain elements for nutrition. The fish are a form of animal, that can be created and developed, to such an amendment. There is no kind of problem in this kind of consumption, since this consumption, is one that maintains the natural balance of that fish species, with their environment. There are species, that if are not controlled, lead to overpopulation. And the resulting imbalance of their own livelihood. Our consumption is the equilibrium of this ecosystem. There is nothing wrong with this procedure. While we are humanoids in the third dimension. There is no place for hypocrisy theosophical, in the development of intelligent communities in this universe. We are very far away from divinity. We must provide the necessary elements for our races to develop in equilibrium with nature, placed at our disposal, to be managed wisely. With the changes planned for the next stage of the planet, this dependency of fat and animal protein, will decrease. But it will still take thousands of years to be completely eliminated. On the subject of cholesterol. It is a myth. Generated by an error of interpretation that has generated and still generates a lot of profit for your pharmaceutical industry. There is no good cholesterol, and bad cholesterol which you call so. It is the same element. When it is not activated, being used for repair body cells, it is called by you, good cholesterol, HDL, and when it is activated, fighting an inflammatory or reconstructive process, and accumulates in places where the body needs it, you call it, bad cholesterol, LDL. It's how you say that the fireman in the garage, is good. And what comes out to rescue a victim, is bad. Totally illogical. 26% of all the cholesterol existing in humanoid body, is in the brain. Cholesterol synthesized a series of substances, needed for nerve cells. So the anti-cholesterol medications, can lead to large losses of memory. When your body needs repairs, your liver sends the amount of cholesterol needed to repair and to fight free radicals and infections. Maintaining the integrity of the issues at the cellular level. The humanoid body would not work without it. Because above all, 
Cholesterol synthesizes vitamins in cell membranes. So fighting it is to play against your own team. If your cholesterol level is high, it is because your body needs high amount of it for repairs being made. Artificially reducing these levels is to deny the body the number of firemen necessary for emergency care. The reduction induced by medications eventually leave your body without the raw material needed to work properly. And this will lead to more serious problems in the future. But the myth of cholesterol generates high profits. Millions of drugs sold every day. And you will continue to be deluded about the ideal levels recommended, colluded by your physicians. But rest assured that all this deception has its days numbered. A new phase of truth and integrity must be established on the planet, and all these leeches will be gradually removed from the new scenario. The many concerns regarding triglycerides also have been answered, as in the case of cholesterol. Avoid all hydrogenated vegetable fats for they are not completely metabolized by the body, and so cause deposits. The high level of triglycerides, is directly proportionate with intake of processed foods with these fats. Reducing consumption will reduce the levels automatically. The milk you buy in the market, for certain, is not healthy at all. Have a bit of good census. Using simple math and verify that the production of milk distributed by your industries require an amount ten times greater than all existing dairy cows on your planet. That is, 90% of the milk is distributed from artificially flavored water and other mineral products. Calcium artificially added to synthetic milk is not absorbed into bones or skin, by solar energy. It actually has a cumulative effect on the kidneys. Inevitably, cause kidney stones and failure in adrenals. The milk sold in the markets today, is poison. No exceptions. The milk of known origin, coming directly from farms is very healthy and totally beneficial to the body. Most of the real milk, is used for the production of derivatives, with a higher added value, as butter and cheese. The gluten, has an important feature. It hinders the reproduction of nerve cells, by increasing the surface tension of the membrane. This causes a forced aging of the brain among other extremely damaging effects, is therefore also a poison, which is purposely included in your diet. The natural oils found in nuts, coconuts, avocados and seeds eaten fresh, are very beneficial for health, used for the metabolism of important minerals and vitamins needed by the body. The fresh green vegetables are rich in calcium and iron, which are naturally absorbed without causing cumulative effects. As for the raw cold pressed oils, these can be used without problems for health, but most methods used, are of low productivity, due to your rudimentary techniques of industrialization, which are preferred, for the economic of cash, of your industry. Another major problem, is the use of transgenic seeds, for the production of edible oils. It is a chronic problem, for even cold pressed oils of these seeds, because they will contain DNA, from insects, and other hybrids in its formulation. Try cooking with minimal, or nothing of processed vegetable oils, the refined, less bad is the sunflower, rice, grape seed and peanuts. Try using animal fats, like butter or vegetable fat, 
such as coconut or grapeseed for cooking. In the case of coconut, walnuts and chestnuts in general, they do not contain transgenic elements and is completely pure. End of message.